Hi guys, Irvi Sini from Sini.com here. I am making this short video about the latency issue I had with Cubase when trying to record audio using the sound card from Focusrite, the Scarlett 6i6 model, to be precise. Every time I was recording something, during the recording, everything seemed all right. But when I was playing what I just recorded, it was way ahead of the tempo, like if I was rushing like crazy. So there was a problem, and I couldn't seem to, to fix it because there is no place within Cubase where you can set the latency. So after searching for a long time online, I couldn't find the solution. I even tried all sorts of patches that I found on forums such as ASIO for all from Cubase, uh, from, not from Cubase, but from, uh, yeah, from, from Stenberg, from Cubase. And it didn't work at all. When I was using it, actually, I had no sound coming out of Cubase at all. So instead of trying to fix that, that patch, I decided to, to dig deeper within my actual sound card. And so I searched within the mix control, the software, the mixers delivered with the sound card, and this is where I found the solution. For whatever reason, Focusrite set the factory setting of the buffer size way too high. In my case, it, it was set up to 10 milliseconds, and this is what caused the problem. So I just simply set it to one millisecond, which is the smallest amount you can set, and the problem was gone right away. So I'm going to do a screen capture to show you exactly what I did. So if you are facing the same issue, this is absolutely nothing difficult to do. Okay, this is the Scarlet Mix Control software. And this is where you are setting the buffer size, the ASIO buffer size. So the factory setting was set up to 10 milliseconds, and I just set it to 1 millisecond, and it was solved. So the only thing you have to keep in mind is that you must close Cubase prior to change the settings. Okay, so after when you open Cubase again, you just have to check your settings and you'll see that the latency level are extremely low. I have like 3.3 uh, millisecond entrance, latency entrance, and 4.3 4 latency output. And before that, when it was set to 10 millisecond, I had almost 30 millisecond level. Now it's almost perfect, and personally, I can't hear anything in terms of tracking. So uh, that's all there is to it.